hey everyone welcome back to my youtube channel and today we are going to install the kali linux 2022.4 version in virtual box so first of all let's download the virtual box okay you have to search virtual box download for windows and you have to click on this first link we'll put the link in the description box so for windows you have to click on this link that is windows host so click on the windows host link I have already downloaded this uh, virtual box. So let's go to the downloads folder. And here is our application. You have to give the user access control. Yes. So I'm installing the virtual box 7.0.6 setup. Let's click on next. And this is the location. I'm installing it in C drive. Click on next. So it's a warning that installing the Oracle VM virtual box. Uh, networking features will reset your network connection and temporarily disconnect you from the network okay so proceed with the installation now yes so missing dependencies python core and win32 api so we have to install these packages let's click on yes and click on install it will take some time start oracle vm after installation okay i want to start it so let's click on the finish button okay so we have installed our virtual box now we have to install the kali linux so let's go to the kali.org site and kali linux download and you have to click on this first link okay that is from kali.org so choose your platform so the first one is virtual machine and the second one is installer image and these two are recommended okay so we'll go with the installer images okay because it's a direct access to hardware and customized kali kernel no overhead and uh, it requires you know i have already install this but it requires a lot of space by the way so we'll go with the installer images okay so click on it you have to select the architecture like 64 bit or 32 bit i'm selecting the 64 bit and you have to click on this this is an iso file i'm gonna cancel it so i have already downloaded uh, this version of kali linux that is uh, 2022.4 so let's go to our download folder and uh, see this is an installer image in the scali folder okay go to the virtual box and click on this new button and you have to write the name of the virtual machine so let's write our kali linux okay as per your choice you can name your vm so this is a default folder okay it's in the c directory type is linux okay and uh, the version is debian 64 this one okay click on it so we'll install the iso image after we complete this configuration okay let's click on next and the 4 gb will be fine okay so i'm gonna allocate four cpu uh, one cpu is also sufficient because i want it to run smoothly so that is the reason i have used four cpu okay let's click on next you have to select this option that is create a virtual hard disk now and 20 gb is sufficient uh, let's click on next okay and here is a summary that is machine name is kali linux machine folder is our c folder will add our iso image okay and the memory is 4 gb processor is 4 4 cpu and uh, disk size is 20 gb okay let's finish it okay and you have to select it go to the settings and here you can also change the name and the system configuration 
that is the base memory and the CPU. Let's click on display. So video memory, I'm going to use 20, 128 MB. Okay, because it will look great. Okay, and click on storage. And this is one of the most important step of installing the Kali Linux. So click on this empty disk and you have to select the disk over here. And you have to click on this choose a disk file option. Go to the downloads. So inside our Kali folder, we have our ISO image. Open it. So click on OK. So we have done all the configuration. And if you want to make certain changes, so you can click on the settings and you can view these details. Okay, system related, display related, storage related, network related. Currently, I'm using the NAT. Okay, you can also switch from a NAT to bridge adapter. Let me cancel it. So we have selected our Kali Linux. Okay, now we have to start it. So you can see this green option. Okay, that is start. So let's start our machine and it will begin the installation. So here is our Kali Linux installer menu and we're going to doing the graphical installation. Okay, so let me hit enter. So the English will be fine. Continue. So I'm in India. Okay. So we'll select India. Continue. Key map to use the configure the keyboard. So the American English will be fine. Click on continue. And scanning installation media. Okay. detect and mount installation media so it will take some time so for host name i'm going to leave the kali as our default name Okay, let's continue. Domain name, we don't have domain name, so we'll leave it as blank. Click on continue. So full name of the new user, so I will provide my name that is Afshan. Click on continue. So the username for your account is Afshan. Okay, I'm fine with it. Continue. So let's set up the password. Please re-enter the password okay let's continue leave it as a default option for partition disk that is guided use entire disk let's hit continue and i'm leaving it as default click continue and this is also fine okay the all file in one partition recommended for new users okay we are the new user by the way so let's click on continue okay finish partitioning and write changes to the disk yes we want it continue so the following partitions are going to be formatted write the changes to the disk yes Click on continue. Now it's installing the base system and it will take some time. Okay. Now it's configuring the package manager and installing the software. These are the software selection. I am happy with this configuration. Let me continue. Okay, so ret retrieving file 
2412 it will take maybe 4 to 5 minutes huh now we have to click on install the grub boot loader so yes let's click on continue and we'll select this virtual driver over here click on continue okay so the boot loader it will take maybe two to three minutes so the installation is completed we have to click on continue to reboot so it is starting booting into one second okay cool so the username is afshan and the password is okay let's log in okay so yes we have successfully installed the kali linux on our virtual box so yeah that's it for this video guys i hope you like it and we'll see you in my next video till then take care and keep learning bye bye